We were literally on the way to come do this interview and we saw a garage sale. We got a bunch of fun knickknacks. We got this brand new hat. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of it. Or if you never want to if, see it ever again. If you want to see more of our knickknacks. <laughs> Pause, I'm just gonna make sure the camera is still. Yeah. Anyways. Thursday. Thursday. That was good, I can use that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole tempo. It's gonna be a play it by ear situation. Time to go film Jenna do some tempo. Let's rock. If trying out the shoes is a three minute thing, then that's fine with me, I'm okay. Honestly, the end of the season isn't panning out how I wanted it to. My hopes for this race is that I get off the bike and my leg feels completely fine. I am personally just ready to race. And I'm ready to do it, and I'm ready to get it done. fast but easy. It was supposed to be 15 minutes but I just started to get a little bit of achiness on the outside of my knee which I know is a sign that my IT band is gonna start hurting right around my knee. You should keep your hat on because if you cut it'll look weird. You committed. That's okay. My IT band is tight and I don't want to make it worse. Sucks to stop a workout today but it'll suck more to stop running for the next four weeks. I don't want to fuck everything up really. <laughs> Jenna's cooling down, then I have the same run. I'm gonna do 15 minutes at just a smooth, comfortable tempo. I'm not gonna wear the super shoes, but we'll still go fast. Let's ride. Ran for about an hour, a little bit of warm up, like 15 to 20 minutes, and then a 15 minute tempo run, and then some easy at the end. So I have some potentially bad news. I think I was on time lapse for the majority of that. <laughs> footage. I got like three minutes of footage. People don't need to watch me run for 15 minutes. Yeah. Six flat, 5.56 into like just a ripping headwind. Yep. Really happy. 
happy with where the running game is at because that's basically the effort we're going to be putting out. It sounds fun, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm going to be doing. Bye. Bye. You're all sweaty. I don't want to kiss. Aw. I just woke up from a nap. And Jenna's got a surprise. Oh, they aren't even grapes. They're plums. I'm going to do a little bike workout. A little bit of sweet spot. A little bit of 70.3. And then a little bit of one minute burst. She's going to be filming right there. And I'm going to be biking right there. Want some pork. You did some PT that day. I mean, I do some PT every day. Look at that. What a good little athlete. That's me. What you watching? The TikTok. <laughs> Is it Friday fun day? Also, Kristen's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Kristen. Miguel dilly-dallying as usual. Send me off. Take your mom. Beep. Have a bike rack, it's too lazy to use it. <laughs> Hydration, snacks, other shoes, watch, computer, socks. And I think I stopped wearing these because I wanted to wear my new pair of shoes that had regular laces in it, uh -huh. not speed laces. Uh -huh. Okay, 20 minute easy run off the bike. We don't even talk to each other anymore. We just talk to the camera that we're holding up for each other. And then we went to Grocery Outlet, which was by far the highlight of the week. And I'm sorry we didn't make that the focal point of this video. We'll do it again. Do another Grocery <laughs> Outlet video. When you have an A race in front of you and you get closer to that A race, you feel so much anticipation and anxiety all building up into that one day that one event. And when I was younger, I used to put a lot of pressure on, on the big race, but now I'm starting to figure out that like there, there's always, like there's always something after, there's always a postseason. Look who's driving me to swim practice. is a learning experience. Every event that you do, regardless of the size, it's just a learning experience. That's the same with the first race you ever do, and that's the same with the last race you ever do. Packed myself a post-swim pre-run snack. Got my little pocket bagel and my little pocket honey. I mean, I just want to take 
this race as a learning experience and this whole season really as a learning experience. You're in great shape. You're ready to go. I'm just going to take the day as it is. Keep my long sleeve on so I get used to the heat. A little personal sweat lodge. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like for a fact, they're gonna there are going to be some really tough parts of the race on Saturday. I'm ready to make friends with the devil. Greet him at my front door when he <laughs> arrives on Saturday. <laughs> how the race pans out. I think it'll be really fun. I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah. Ready to go?